In today's world filled with SUVs, at least they're still building some fun ones. And you know what? Today we're gonna take full advantage of that. Three V8 powered off-road superheroes. The Mercedes AMG G63, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392, and the Land Rover Defender 90 V8. One quarter mile drag race off-road, let's get started. As you can imagine, this test has a lot of resources going into it. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and help us grow so we can keep making videos just like this. For our dry lake bed race, I'm lucky enough to be driving the Land Rover Defender V8. Let me show you how I'm gonna set it up. You go to the home menu and select 4x4i. I have the terrain response set to a custom mode and I've actually already preset it. I call it dry lake launch. Land Rover lets you make a few different custom modes, which is really cool. We've got automatic differentials. We're gonna keep the powertrain nice and lively. The steering I want kind of heavy so I don't get sidetracked. Lots of wheel spin on launch so that we don't get bogged down by ESC and we'll keep the ride control normal to kind of soak up some of the ruts and bumps. Hopefully that gives me the best time. Let's find out. And if my custom launch preset doesn't work, then maybe the Defender V8's raw power output will. The supercharged 5 liter under the hood makes 518 horsepower and 461 pound feet, good for a claimed 0 to 60 time of 4.9 seconds. As the only Michigander on this shoot, I am fighting for the home team with the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. Uh, I really respect the Land Rover and the AMG. I like that they have technology and drive modes and turbochargers and superchargers. The Jeep has none of that. So I'm going to just smash the gas through the floor and hope for the best. When I do slam the gas, I'll be unleashing 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque from a huge 6.4 liter V8, the biggest engine in this test. This silly machine will hit 60 in 4.5 seconds, but it also has a top speed limiter of 99 miles per hour. And with 35 inch tires to move, this Hemi will have its work cut out for it. The thing about the G63 is it has to do double duty. It does all the things of a normal AMG, basically being a supercar, but it also has a ton of different settings to make it go fast off-road. For what we're dealing with today, the surface isn't very slick, so I'm not gonna mess with locking the center diff. I'm not gonna mess with the off-road settings. Getting this thing off the line is simple. Put it into dynamic select, go down to sport plus, and trust in the work of AMG engineers. This is gonna be a missile off the line. By missile, I mean 577 horsepower, that's the most here by the way, and a stomping 627 pound-feet. AMG says 60 happens in 4.4 seconds, which is the quickest on paper. However, this is also the heaviest car here at over 5,800 pounds. That's enough of the tech specs, let's race. Waiting for the honking countdown now. A little late on the start, but traction stays okay. Up to 75 that quickly. You ever wonder what it's like to literally eat dust? And across the corner, exactly at 110. I don't even think it was that close. I mean, I have to put back the tape. Holy moly, what a machine. Wow. I mean, you don't realize how fast this is <laughs> until you're suddenly at speed because this car is just so big. Listen, I'm very happy for both of them and their fancy European cars, but mine makes the best noise and the doors come off. Load it up, go. Even a little bit of a delayed start. It's an okay race with the Land Rover. And then I start to lose them about the halfway point. Pipped him off the line, but he made up all of the time. And 110 across the quarter. <laughs> so even on the restarts, the same thing is happening. I've hit 110 exactly as I cross the cone every single time in the G-Wagon. It's just time after time after time again. It's hooking up like an absolute monster and, and just going to work. These are fast SUVs. <laughs> Oh, uh, I really wanted to take the G-Wagon that time. Let's talk about that Jeep for a minute though. Man, 470 horsepower, it's down by at least, you know, 48 over the next best competitor. If anyone told you that the Jeep Wrangler would be clipping 100 miles an hour in a quarter mile on the dirt, they'd call you insane. And that thing still just, <laughs> it's 
got all the motor. Uh, oh my God, what a weapon this car is. Sometimes I like to give the G-Wagon hell because I just see it crawling around Beverly Hills, but you forget what it's capable of when you put it in a place where it actually belongs, especially with this AMG trail package. Whew. That is a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Today we learned that sometimes the most power and torque is all it takes to get from point A to B the fastest. But more importantly, our little desert drag race shows that we are in a golden age of fun, capable SUVs that also happen to be monsters in a straight line. Thanks for watching.